taught you to be a thief. No, you taught me to navigate people's minds. I can access your mind through your dreams. It's called Inception. How do we get out? I'm hoping you have something more elegant in mind than shooting me in the head. A kick. What's a kick? That feeling of falling that snaps you out of the dream. Hi, I'm Lovell Malik, Chief Film Critic of the New York Post, here with a review of Inception. Whose subconscious are we going into exactly as a character in Christopher Nolan's sci-fi thriller Inception? This gets a big laugh in a sublime brain twister of a movie that plays out so intricately on so many levels simultaneously that a bathroom break comes at your own peril. Leonardo DiCaprio leads a team of high-tech corporate saboteurs who descend deep into a target's dreams. In a season of brain-dead spin-offs, Inception stands out as a singularly cerebral exception and will generously reward your 148 minutes of undivided attention. So how did we end up here? Well, we just came from the, uh... Think about it, Ariadne. How did you get here? Where are you right now? We're dreaming. You're actually in the middle of the workshop right now, sleeping. This is your first lesson in shared dreaming. Stay calm. The idea of entering dreams to manipulate someone is a new dreamscape did that back in 1984. But no one raises the stakes with brilliantly deployed effects as he shifts seamlessly between the different dreams and reality. He blurs the distinction between dreams and reality so artfully that Inception may well be a masterpiece masquerading as a summer blockbuster. So I'm giving Inception four stars out of four. I'm the Luminic and you can find my reviews at nypost.com. God, we should walk away from this. The people that hired us won't accept failure. This was not a part of the plan!